shade concealer to my eyelids and I use Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay in the color Light Warm. I'm now going to set my eyes using the Makeup Forever HD Powder. Then I'm going in with a color from MAC and it's in the color Blackberry. I have it right here. It's this grayish, purplish kind of shade. I'm, I suck at describing colors, but yeah, like I said, it's gray with a hint of purple in it. I'm going to apply it right in the crease as my transition shade. And then using the same brush, I'm picking up Bitten from Makeup Geek. It is the color right here. Uh, this one. <laughs> but this time, I apply it a little bit lower. I don't go as close to my eyebrow as I did with the Blackberry shade. And then I'm picking up my Metal Matte Palette from Kat Von D. And I use the color... Velvet. I think it's called Velvet, right? Yeah, Velvet. It's this one right here. Why are you... Why is there a red light flashing? That doesn't look good. And I apply it in the outer... Kind of like in the outer V. At least in the outer corner. And now I really blend it out. Using the Blackberry shade, I'm blending everything out. And I am now using the MAC 217. And I make sure I just blend everything out. Let me see if I can zoom you in maybe a little bit. So now you can see what I have going on in my crease. And as for the crease, I am using Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Rosette. And I apply it all over my lid. And then I want it to look a little bit more intense, so I spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus. If I can find my Fix Plus. Well, just some regular setting spray will work just fine. This will intensify the color a little bit. And then I'm going in with the 217 again and just blend everything together in the crease. I want a little bit more color in this look, so I'm going to take a 231 brush from Zoeva and pick up the color Hookah from Suva Beauty. It is this big color right here. And just put it a little bit in the crease to make it a little bit more colorful. So hard for me to see if I'm in focus because I'm like blind. Now it's time for the eyeliner. I'm going to get really close with the mirror so you probably won't be able to see what I'm doing. And I warn you, I am not the very best person at doing eyeliner. Okay, we have a wing going on.
fun. So now it's time to get some lashes on. If I could just find them tonight. This is like the story of my life. I can never ever find my lashes. I lose them like all the time. So, of course, I couldn't find my lashes. I swear, after I finish filming, I'm going to find them. They're going to be, like, right in front of me. But anyways, I wanted to use Iconics. And, and I'm going to use a different pair of Iconics. But, as you can see, I have to clean these one from glue. The other ones were clean and pretty new. I've used these several times, like, I don't even want to know how many times, maybe 20 times. Two, time to get the lashes on, so I'm going to curl my lashes. Oh, and the eyeliner is, like, so fucked up. <laughs> it's so uneven. I guess, like, I like the eyeliner on this eye, so you have to look at that one. But on this eye, I don't even know what's going on. I mean, like, it looks okay and this one looks okay but there are totally but they are totally even no 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 they're they are totally uneven <laughs> if there were even that would have been good right right so i'm curling them not that that's helping because i have like the lashes of a giraffe my lashes are so sad and they're just pointing downwards and even though I curl them, there is nothing I can do about it. And now I'm applying the mascara on just on this side. Let it sit. I need to cut. The other ones were cut, but this isn't. It's too long. Okay, just let it sit there for a little while. <laughs> Some Pepsi. <sighs> it's so good. Then we're going to put these, count one, two, three, four, five, count. Count Olaf. It's the count, it's the count, it's the count. This is where the magic happens. This applying the lashes and applying the foundation boom that's magic that changes me completely so now and now it's finally time for foundation but first ugh, let me get ooh, 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 i'm still here a pad <coughs> is it called a pad underneath like the fallout but i use this to remove the fallout Okay, so it's the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Oil Free Pore Minimizing. It's the purple one. I'm just applying this to my T zone. And I just like pat it in in some places. And now, the foundation, it's my holy grail. It's the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I love it. It gives coverage like, like, I don't know what. So I just apply a little bit on the back of my hand. But I do feel that this foundation is a little bit too matte for me. So I'm dipping a little bit of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And the color Moonlight, not a lot, just like one drop into this amount. Can you even see it? Can you even see it? On and different parts of my face. And I use a brush from Makeup Revolution on my double chin. But now I'm just going to take a beauty blender and take what's left on the back of my hand and just dab it 
And I don't apply foundation underneath my eye. That is just for concealer. I crease like a bitch underneath my eyes, but I'm also so dry, so I can't set it with powder. Just a little bit of concealer. And if I apply foundation underneath my eyes, I feel like it gives me a product overload. Like it will be too much product underneath my eyes space I have like the smallest memory card so I have to erase things all the time <sighs> that's why I'm like really stressy right now the iconic London contour kit is like I dip my beauty blender can you even see and bleh, and light color as for highlighting and apply it like this to highlight a bit nothing too dramatic on my forehead now that I've applied all of my cream products on my face I like to set it with a setting spray and then when I finish all of my powder products I finish it off with a different setting spray so I just give myself a little bit Ugh. It's the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Am I, the <coughs> Am I the only one who thinks this is like so strong? But I can feel my lips are really dry. So now I'm going to scrub them and prep them for while I wait. And while I wait, while I wait for... And while I wait for the Slay All Day to do its magic, I scrub my lips using the... It's from Glam Glow, you know, like the scrub from Glam Glow. Ah, I got it in my mouth. Um, okay, so now that it's set, I'm going to take the powder from Makeup Forever. Why do I want to say Makeup Store? Makeup Forever. And I'm going to set it all over my face. underneath here as well I was gonna apply some bronzer and it's Bare Minerals one I wonder if there are more than one let me see if I can see like a name on it the memory card, like I said, I ran out of space and I did my bronzer and I did like the highlight parts of the Kat Von D contour kit. Like I used all three of these shades, just mixed them together and applied it on my forehead, a little bit on my nose, a little bit just right underneath here and a little bit on my chin. Now I'm heading over to the contour. I'm using the Eda brush. Is it called the Eda brush? I just start contouring. I like this brush, but I do feel that it was overrated. Like when it first came out, everyone on YouTube was using it, and I felt like, oh, I needed to. <laughs> but now that it's been like, what has it been like a few years, I can barely see anyone use it anymore. bring it up so we can tie it together a little bit so it's not just two sharp two sharp lines on the side of my face a little bit more now I'm gonna do some blush with it's the NARS seduction blush I love this color. It's so pretty. Am I even in focus? I really hope I'm in focus. And I need, and I want like quite a lot of blush. I love blush. Especially when I use this foundation because I feel like the foundation is so full coverage so it cancels like everything out can't see 
anything like your you can't even see your own skin I think someone is leaving my home let's see if someone says goodbye let's do some highlighting okay I use the cover effects this is all like the same and has your drops that I used in my foundation I'm going to apply using like a stippling brush I feel like that's the easiest way to apply this product I tried it with my fingers I tried it with a beauty blender but just I don't know I don't like how it looks be quick when you blend it out can you even see it does the light catch my highlight probably not okay so now I want to apply some more highlighter I use oh, everything's so dirty and it's all all over the place the Becca champagne pop the Jaclyn Hill Jaclyn Hill Becca champagne pop I just love it I love Jaclyn and I love the highlighter and I use a fan brush and I apply it right over that bad cover fix I feel like applying a lot of highlighter removes a bit of the blush so that's why oh my god my nose is so itching <laughs> so that's why I like to apply a lot of blush because it will disappear a little bit when I apply the highlighter okay okay now it's time for the lip because I'm almost done. I use a lip liner from NYX. It's in the color Espresso. And I line my lips. Okay, and the lipstick, it's a liquid lipstick from Lime Crime. It's in the color Sasha. It's from their Girls 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 collection, but I got this in Oh, let's see if I can reach it. I don't remember what these were called, but they had like, um, I think they still sell them. Yes, of course. Uh, a kit with three shades. It was this inside, and this is Jingle. I think it's a metallic one. And then there were also a color called Red Rose. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere somewhere far away oh my cat is here whoopsie hey Coupin hey Rambo hey Mama Siata oh no 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 Rambo pass <laughs> did you see it? <laughs> he wants to like <laughs> on the backdrop <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's here. No. Nah. Combo. Sorry. I'm sort of fake, va? Who said you could do that? Hopare. Well, that was interesting. Since I only have my lips left and a little bit of setting spray, like, why even bother? Why bother? Come go, Ben. Now I'm going to apply it. Oh, now you leave. Now you leave. And I am done. Okay, a little bit of setting spray. I use Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Spray my face. Take a shower. No, I'm not done. I'm not done at all. I don't got product. No. I forgot my under eye. Okay, scratch that. Scratch that. 
Head back, head back. Okay, let's do this really quick. What did I forget? Okay, just a little bit of my shadow. And some mascara on my bottom lashes. Oh, that wasn't a very smart thing to do. <gasps> I just destroyed everything. Look, 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 look. Okay, so with that, we are done. Bye-bye. I love all of you. I am so happy that I didn't lose subscribers, even though I haven't been posting in such a long time. I promise you guys that I'm going to start uploading a bit more. But like I said, I love you and I will see you. Bye!